Hello, dear friends. Um, it gives me great pleasure and satisfaction to be able to uh, make a live today about Cullen Smith. All you folks that have followed me for many years, you know that I've been uh, outing him as a pedophile and a degenerate pervert and uh, a sick motherfucker. And a lot of people have said, uh, yeah, why don't you leave him alone, you know, back off, he's doing a good work. Yeah. We well, see these eyes and this eye, way more intelligent than you people that have been telling me to back off him. Hmm. Yeah, I just posted below this live, um, someone sent me the, mis the messages the post that Ananda Ali wrote as to why she's leaving Cullen Smith. You'll see that he's into bestiality porn, and and I can see it. In, you can see on someone's face what they're into. You know, he looks like a frog. But it gives me great pleasure. And as she said, you've been vindicated, Santos. Eight years, you've been giving this guy. Hell, you know, like I like to do. <laughs> yeah, every demon, evil cunt in the world is going to get it from me. <laughs> this is how it works, guys. You see, there's a method to my madness. People say, oh, you sound mad. <laughs> yeah, well, the whole world is a theatre, people. And... Um, what I'm getting angry at is what I'm cleaning from inside of me. The universe is in me. I'm in you, you're in me. That tree over there is in me. Mexico is in me, it's in you. We're all connected. There's no separation, okay? So, let's hope Cullen um, repents. I'm into forgiveness, big time, <laughs> big time. <laughs> yeah, you know, when I say I'm going to send people to hell and I'm never going to forgive them and I'm cursing them and everything like that. We don't, we don't actually have the power to do that. And yet we do because we are expelling all of what we don't need and doesn't serve us anymore. What serves us now is the truth. That's all. Truth. We only need the truth, guys. But um, anyway, I mean, he's been exposed. He's been exposed for many years. I don't need to go on about him anymore. This is probably this will probably be the last time I ever mention his name. Um, but I tried to warn people. And, um, yeah, I knew he was up to some shifty stuff. So have a read of the post that I posted below. And if you scroll down in the last two months, I've also exposed him for other things. Uh, people, the, the guys that you look up to, <laughs> they're letting you down. They're not truthers. They're money hungry. They're liars, they're greedy, they're stupid. <laughs> I could name a thousand of your favourite YouTube channel and 990 of them will be just a bunch of fucking dickheads. And if you haven't got it by now, you will. Because <laughs> I'm not going away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it turn, turns out that he wanted to have orgies with uh, Ananda, Ali, his girlfriend and everything. And she's exposed him. As I have been for eight years. Yeah, and everyone else that I've exposed. It looks like they're undoing themselves. You know... See, Cullen Smith has a habit of flirting with girls. Now, Santos Bonacci 
does not do that. And I can say that because I know that I don't do that. In fact, sometimes I get women, every day, every day women are giving me, beautiful women, beautiful women, giving me compliments, telling me they love me, they listen to me every day. And some of them are cheeky. You know, they send me photos of their titties, you know, and their bikinis and um, all these selfies that... <laughs> and as soon as they do that, they cut their own throats because I don't flirt with women. There will never be a woman in history that will be able to take screenshots of my messages where I'm flirting with them. Never. Not one. There will never be. There will never be someone called Mary Jones who says, Ah, look, Santos flirted with me. He said, Oh, I like your tits. I would love for you to come and visit me and we can have a good week together or something like that. It doesn't exist. Never will there be a woman ever, ever, ever that will say, Ah, oh, look at this. Santos said this. You know, he likes, he likes the shape of my ass. Because it doesn't exist. In fact, I block those women. As soon as they send me their selfies, yeah, I say, goodbye. You've misunderstood me. <laughs> you, you don't know who I am. <laughs> but there are women out there now that are producing thousands and thousands of messages, screenshots, of, and pictures where Cullen's showing, you know, pictures of his dick. You know, I've, I've, never, I've never understood that. I would, even with my wives and all my partners, there will never, ever, ever, ever be any one of them that can produce a picture of me, you know, sending pictures of my private parts to anyone. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who fucking does that fucking dumb shit? And there are women that do that to me. I don't want to see their fucking tits. <laughs> it doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. All right, I couldn't. I've got the evidence. It's uh, it's all there, you know. But no one has any evidence on me that I've ever flirted ever with a woman ever, ever, ever. And if you do, let's see the screenshots. Any woman out there who thinks. You know, that I'm just uh, farting in the wind. So, I've always said, I don't need your compliments. And uh, especially women, I don't need them telling me that I'm, I don't know, their hero, I'm handsome, or here's what I look like. And I mean... It's, it's rare. It's, it's only happened a handful of times, you know. It's not something that happens every day, otherwise I'd be making a post about it. In fact, I'm only mentioning it because the guys that I expose, I know that many women can come forward and produce a lot of evidence against them. But not one woman in the history of history will be able to do that about me. Because there's no one I've ever flirted with, ever. <laughs> that follows my work <clears throat> and that can, in any instance, produce uh, flirtatious comments. So, yeah, it's nice to... Um, Nice to be right. I mean, I don't, I'm not here to prove that I'm right to anyone. I'm here to be happy. 
and uh, be one with God. That's all, that's all I want. I don't want money. I live in a beautiful house, yeah, sure, but... Yeah. That doesn't matter. You can have a beautiful house. There's plenty of millionaires in Hollywood that have got these big houses and they're miserable. They're miserable. Because happiness comes from within. And people say, oh, you're always angry, Santos. You know, why are you cursing Cullen? Why are you cussing? Leave him alone and everything. Well, <laughs> man, I mean, it's been fun for 12 years acting and pretending to be angry and, um, you know, having a method to the madness. And people say, Trump's playing five 5D chess, you know, Trump, I, I, that's 5D chess. Folks, you're going to realise one day I'm playing <clears throat> trans-dimensional chess with everybody. I've trumped everybody, checkmated everybody, everybody, everybody. Why? Because I'm a truth teller and seeker. And I've always said... Don't bother about fucking love and harmony and peace and frickin' um, wealth and abundance and health and uh, riches and prosperity. And If you haven't got truth down first, everything begins with truth. Truth is the seed. And love comes from truth and peace comes from truth, abundance comes comes from truth. Eternal, everlasting bliss comes from truth. Everything comes from the one most high principle of the universe. Truth. So I've delivered this truth in an angry way and been condemned. I've delivered it in a loving way, patiently, Correctly with my whiteboard. And I haven't necessarily, you know, done videos on love and light and blah, blah, blah. Yes, I do consciousness and raising the chrism. But, you know, I'm not the smiley guru who, oh, come to me. Yes, I am having the best knowledge. Yeah, blah, 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 you know, smiling, smiling, smiling. And in the back, back room, they're fucking little kids and, uh, you know, like all these Satgurus and fucking Dalai Lamas and, and all your other smiling truthers, you know. They're like, oh, Santos is angry. But I smile when I tell lies. <laughs> you see? Everybody likes their smiling gurus, you know. They're all drunken bums. They're all perverts. They smile and they make a lot of money from you because <laughs> you're gullible. I don't make a lot of money. I never had more than a couple of thousand dollars between PayPal and my bank. Why? Because I'm always helping other people who are in really, really dire straits and who are beautiful people <laughs> and could use the money more than me. It's not my money. I don't own money. I don't, I don't, I don't care about fucking money. I don't even care about eating. I've got an assistant who works for me six days a week and I'll probably just get you know, a couple of pounds of bananas, a pineapple and I've got all my other products and uh, yeah, you don't need to eat as much as you're eating, people. <laughs> it's, remember they used to say, it's cool, they used to say every meal that you eat Three meals a day should fit in your hand. Now, I see people who have big round plates, like a mountain, for breakfast, 
lunch and dinner, and three courses. And they're all fucking fat and they don't like these skinny vegans. Yeah, oh, you vegans, you look skinny. Yeah, well, skinny is fucking sexy. Fat is fucking disgusting. And I will never, ever, and never have been, and never will be, fat. Because if I go to the mirror and I fucking see myself fat, I'll do everything in my power to get back to skinny, or I'll fucking shoot myself here. I would rather shoot myself here than be a fat cunt. And it's always the fat, ugly cunts who tell... Who tell <laughs> They're fucking dying, waiting for liver transplants, and they attack me because I'm vegan. A true lover of animals. You know, Leonardo da Vinci, genius, all vegans are geniuses. Uh, he used to go to the markets in, uh, in Florence, and he used to buy the birds and the chickens. He used to buy all the animals, and then he would set them free. Hmm... Yeah. But you guys, you store them in your freezer. Flesh eaters. People tra uh, animal traffickers. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Pythagoras, Plato, they used to free the, the animals. And they never and they always said never ever hurt an animal. You can't kill an animal. You can't be sitting there eating steak. And pretending that that animal was not traumatised, trafficked, exploited, hurt, harmed, murdered. You can't pretend anymore. <laughs> That's all over. Eating flesh is, is it's, it's disgusting. It's so fucking demonic. It is over. You don't need it. 16 years, 15 years, no flesh. And I've seen millions of better looking, healthier, gorgeous freaking vegans. Have a look at my, um, my friend there, Isaac Chacon. My Purium uh, upline guy. And if you haven't got the message yet, guys, go to my channel and st I'm living off this stuff, man, in my smoothies. In fact, yeah, those sesame, sesame seeds and uh, Irish moss have been soaking mm -hmm. enough. I think I'll just uh, now add the papaya and the banana and um, that's what I'm living off. By the way, folks, if you've got a blender like mine, this is a cheap one. Back in Australia, I had, the, I had a bevel. It was like uh, $1,200. And it used to suck, it had a, a thing that would suck all the air out of, out of this here. It used to sit on here. Uh, and it's just sitting there in Australia. I had all the best stuff in Australia, right? So this Vitamix is, is it's okay, but it's not the best. But here's the secret when you're doing smoothies, guys. Never ever blend more, more than 30 seconds. Because what happens is those blades are drawing in air every time they spin and oxidating your smoothie. And it kills the food. It kills the magnetic force. I always blend up to 20 seconds. And I don't care if it's smooth or not smooth. I don't care. I never blend. I always count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to 20 and stop. I learned this 15 years ago. A friend of mine reached out. He had a channel. I wish I could remember his channel. And he did a test. He had the same smoothies, the same uh, ingredients, and he had two blenders. 
And he showed this. He showed he, he blended one for 25 seconds and the other one for 50 seconds. And then he left, and then he left the smoothies out and... Um, What's the word? Slow. Uh, anyway, it, he showed what they look like after 15 minutes. The smoothie that was blended for 50 seconds, instead of being green with all the green vegetables he put in, it turned brown like an apple. You know, you take a bite of an apple and you leave it in the sun for 10 minutes, it oxidizes, goes brown. And you can't eat, you've got to cut that off and you've got to start the fresh part of the apple. See, a lot of people know, a lot of people say that you should never, ever even have smoothies. Well, these people are ignoramuses because they're the people who don't know that they probably, you know, hit the blend button, blend button, go to the bathroom, uh, pick their nose, do a fart or two, you know, as they're walking around. And then after six minutes, oh, right, that must be nice and really, really, really blended now. I think I'll drink that. Well, you're drinking death. That's why a lot of people say, um, when they see me talking about smoothies, they say, uh, oh, yeah, no, nah, Santos, that's, you'll never get healthy with smoothies. You can't, you can't. It's impossible, you know, it kills the food and whatever. No, no, no. Just don't blend for more than 20. 30 seconds, but I do 20, just to be sure, always. And I've got nuts, in, I've got walnuts in there, I've got Brazil uh, uh, macadamia nuts. There are certain nuts that I will never touch, like peanuts. Um, I've got Irish sea moss in here, I've got chia seeds, I've got... Um, what are these... Uh, Sunflower seeds, I guess, yeah. I've got hemp seeds in there. It's all been sitting there for hours. And now I'm going to put the fruit in. And always, it's always got coconut water, fresh coconut water. In fact, I drink one litre of coconut water every morning on an empty stomach. Smashes the parasites. So there's a tip for you guys. You can... Blend your food. Oh, oh, b by the way, that guy there, he, he also showed half an hour later, an hour later and two hours later, and the smoothie that only uh, ran for 20 seconds remained green all day long. All day long. Because remember... Air is coming in. Air is coming in through here when you're blending. And it's oxidising. Every second that your blender is turning, there's more oxygen, more oxygen, more oxygen going in. But food, all foods can only handle a certain amount of oxid oxidisation. Oxidisation is, is not necessarily bad, but um, too much of it is so there's your tip okay guys and um yeah no one needs to worry about me and uh and my anger yeah uh, i've read shakespeare you know i know it's all a theater yeah. but my ultimate aim is not to you know fool you mislead you make money from you benefit from you I don't give a fuck about anyone. Okay, I need to be careful about what I, how I say these things. I'm happy to be alone here, and I am, and to be a hermit and celibate for the rest of eternity and never, ever, ever, ever have to look at another human being again. And that's sincerely the truth. Sincerely. Even all my good friends, I don't even need to look at them. My son, my mother, my family, I don't miss anybody. I do not miss anybody. I don't miss my father. I don't miss... It, that's all wasted emotional energy, guys. 
And, and lately, a lot of people have been wanting to uh, escape their country and come and stay with me. I've had 20 of these offers in the last one month. People, don't come and stay with me, you know. I don't want anyone around me. It just agitates me. I don't need visitors. I don't need messages. I don't need compliments. I don't need hate messages at all. And by the way, I'm going to deal with that soon, where I don't have to look at any more messages again. Yeah, so I can uh, be even more happy. So, Cullen Smith, it was great outing you for all these years. Well, I don't wish any, any harm on you at all. Um, I hope you repent and get on the right-hand path. I've been telling you, ejaculating and the left-hand path, <laughs> it will get you into trouble in this life and in the next what you do now, whatever you do now, the condition you're in now, if you die and get hit by a bus tomorrow, that's the condition you will be on the other side. So you're going to want to forgive your brothers. Yeah, you, you who are listening, who, who um, hate your brother, your sister, your mother, your children. You know what I mean. Make peace. Jesus said, make peace with your enemy now. Bring peace from your heart into the next life, guys. But we have to expose these people. Now that he's exposed, perhaps he will repent. And maybe there is some goodness in, in Cullen's heart. And uh, he can redeem himself because he has been a disgusting, disgusting, well, I won't say human being, but the practices. See, I don't condemn uh, drunkards and flesh eaters and uh, the people who are not living correctly. I condemn their practices. You see? Hmm. Stay tuned for more, guys, because um, I'm having a whole lot of fun. <laughs> uh, it's good to be the king. I probably shouldn't say that because I, even though that, 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 um, that comedy film was, <laughs> was so funny, um, the king ended up being beheaded. And don't worry, I'm still in the uh, rolling heads movement and the let's do it revolution. And I'm still going to call out all the, all the evil ones. My good friend, friend Rob from England sent me a beautiful message this morning saying, you know, we don't need to actually fight these guys. We don't, you know, it's all happening within us. And, uh, and I know this, I, I, I've been teaching this for years. I know, I, I know this. The war in Israel is happening inside of me and you. We're, we're, we're all co-creators of this. We're all partially responsible. I just uploaded a video where you can um, power your, 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 um, your stoves with water. So why is Putin and Trump and everybody trying to make pipelines so they can ship their paid for gas to Europe so that people won't get cold? Free energy exists. We have to stop listening to these politicians who talk about, oh, we have oil. America has, a, has its own oil. Oh, fuck the oil. God gave us magnetism. And it's free and it's everywhere. 
You're not living because you're eating. You're living because magnetism exists. You are magnetic. Try shutting this and this or go underwater for five minutes. You're dead. Why? Because you didn't have your steak? You didn't eat your banana? No, because you cut off the magnetic, the magnetism, the ether that's in the air. You actually live off prana. You live off chi. Bonachi. Good chi, that is. That's what bonachi means, yeah? Good energy. Well, you're living off chi. Just... That's your food. Duh! You can live six months without eating a speck of food. You can even go a m one month without liquids. But you, you have to keep this fella open and this fella open 24 hours a day. Magnetism. That's your food. That's our energy. It's free. We don't have to rape the earth for oil. I also posted this morning a New Zealand guy talking about what's really going on in the world today. And essentially, in the... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? In, apparently, what, what is appearing to, to you through the media and everything, uh, and what is um, common knowledge, is there's, there's a war going on. And he revealed that this war is going on between the Rothschild family, who have more power in Europe, and the Rockefeller family, who pretty much control all of the Americas. So the Rockefellers, it turns out, he says, are the lesser of the two evils. The Rothschilds are really, really nasty motherfuckers. What they want is absolute, total enslavement. The Rothschild, the, the, the Rockefellers as well, you know, but there's not, they're not as evil as um, the Rothschilds. And get this. You haven't heard about it, have you? But you know there's been a few Rothschilds found hanging under bridges and a few Rockefellers hanging under bridges. You will recall in my papal bull and sovereignty videos that the Orsini family and the, and the Colonna family, Columbus, two of the most powerful, undoubted, top five most powerful families in the world, they're actually more powerful than the Rockefellers and the, and the Rothschilds, but in the Middle Ages or around the 1200s, 1300s and 1400s, they were trying to get their family members to be popes and archbishops and cardinals. Um, and they were killing each other, like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers are doing right now. And you know the Clintons are, are, are Rockefellers. And you know the Biden is with the Rothschilds. Trump is with the Rockefellers. See, so it doesn't mean he's good. Trump is the lesser of the two evils. But we still don't need a Trump or a Biden. Or the Rockefellers or the Rothschilds or the Orsini or the Colonna. Dear friends... Love me or hate me, I am you and you are me. And I'm looking into your eyes. I hope I'm looking in the camera. I can't see exactly where that little fucking, with these iPhones, you know, spying and perving on us. I don't know whether I'm looking exactly at the camera, but let me tell you, guys, we don't need any of these clowns outside of us. Not one of them. All the answers are in you. But it's, but it's no use knowing the answers and not 
thinking them through thoroughly and then speaking them out correctly and then acting them out. There are many people who are doing that. Yeah, free energy people, sovereignty people that know how to get out, get out of the birth certificate system. Health gurus. Yeah, yeah. There are good people, yes. But generally they're the ones that don't want power or fame or, or money. They just want to help other people. Like Dr. Shiva. Dr. Brian Artis. And many of these other beautiful people. A lot of naturopaths who have been killed in the last th two or three years. Yes, it's all theatre, but we don't need the wrong kind of theatre. You and I together... We can manifest paradise by tomorrow, as early as tomorrow. You just have to think it, say it, and do it. Thought, speech, action, the Holy Trinity. And I'm doing it. I've done it for 12 years. I've exposed all the lies, all of them. I haven't missed one. But I do not know of any other truther that has done Everything like I've done. They're great guys. Jordan Maxwell. He even said to me, he said, Santos, what you, you have done in your work is what I have been seeking and wanting to do all my life. But now he's dead. Oh, he's, his body is. And he never got to do it, but I did. You know, he didn't talk about how to be healthy. I do. He didn't say stop murdering animals. I do, like Leonardo da Vinci and Pythagoras and every other genius has ever said. He didn't do the sine wave in the Taurus field and astrology. I did. Name something that I missed. Sometimes people write to me and say, oh, don't I don't see you talking much about uh, such and such a thing. Yeah, well, uh, that's because you've only watched a half of my video, uh, one of my videos. Watch the rest and you'll see that I've touched every subject, exposed everyone, checkmated everyone. We don't need the Jehovah's Witnesses anymore. We don't need the Baptists. We don't need oil companies. We don't need to pay at BP and Shell and Exxon for our energy. We don't need to pay for the lights. It's all free. You don't need to pay taxes. Birds don't. They just fly around and they're happy. They don't know the word tax. Stop obeying your governments, people. I think Mark Twain said that. Oh, some famous guy intelligent, would have to be a vegan. It wouldn't be a bum eater. Nothing a bum eater has ever said it has been useful to anybody or to themselves, ever, in history. The only real truthers that have ever existed are people who do not murder their friends, animals. That's it. All the rest are fucking liars. Because they pretend that it's okay to eat rotting corpse and death and think that you're going to get life from that death. No, no. there's no flesh eater that's ever lived, you know, more than 120 years. They're all dying in their 60s, waiting for fucking a new heart or liver. They're, all the hospitals in the world, they're all full, full of flesh eaters. All of them. Every single one of them. This is life. See, see, this, this is li these bananas are living. By the way, if you're buying those big bananas because they look really big and good, yeah, they're full of ho hormones. They've been injected with hormones. These are the, uh, lady, the lady fingers and all these Mexican bananas. There's six or seven different varieties, but they've still got the seeds in them. You see this papaya? 
doesn't have seeds. So I have to stop using papaya now because the seed, the seed papaya season is over and what they're doing is they're bringing all these um, seedless papayas. Don't eat any watermelon or anything that hasn't got seeds, guys. And those big bananas don't have seeds. You have to have little bananas, lady fingers. Anyway, let me finish off on a positive note. Of, I was only going to do a five-minute job. I've got so much to do. I'm just, yeah, I'm just. I want to have fun, rest, relax, keep practicing my guitar, enjoying this universe, this show that is inside of me. You get to be the director, guys, and the producer of everything from now on. But only if you have found your power. And if you've been doing what Cullen Smith's been telling you for the last eight years, you've lost all of your power. He's a, he, he is a vampire until the day that he repents publicly and says sorry to all the people he's misled. I've warned people eight years ago, if you follow the left-hand path and ejaculate like Cullen Smith, you'll be wrinkly by the time you're 30. Because that moisture, that seminal fluid is beautiful moisture. The only reason you die is because you lose all of your chrism. Thank you, uh, George Carey and Inez Perez. In the book, Salts of Salvation and God, Man, Made Flesh. Two of my favorite books. I've always been telling people to read them. It's about saving the chrism. And he said there, George Carey, I remember clearly, when I read that, I sat back for probably about 10 minutes and just it blew my mind and I just thought, of course, of course it has to be. The, the cause of old age is you don't have any chrism left. You dry up like a prune through improper sexual practices. You see, there's two things about the human being that you need to know. We have been allocated a certain amount of breaths. And we've been allocated a certain amount of chrism. Some people come into the, this world with very little chrism. They've got no charisma. They're like, I believe the government and, and you're a conspiracy theorist and I'm scared. And, and that's people who did a lot of wanking, like Cullen, in past lives. And then, you, and then you see these beautiful babies, a lot of charisma, they're glowing and they're glowing, they glow all their life. That's because, because of the chrism. You've, George Kerry said you have owned, some people get a lot of it, have a lot of it. They have a lot of charisma for some good deeds that they've done in the past or whatever. Who knows what the factors are. But I feel sorry for the people who don't have a lot of charisma because they haven't got a lot of charisma and they can't afford to be having black tantric sex. Because those people die. Have you seen what pimps look like and, and prostitutes when they get into their 30s and 40s and, and porn stars and whatever? I don't know. All of these... Uh, unless they're taking adrenochrome, they look washed out, depleted, and demonic because they ejaculate. Yeah. You can just sense it walking past them. You can feel the dark, cold death that is surrounding them. And they're just, up, they're just walking to the to the brothel, next brothel, to, to get the next fuck so that they can ejaculate because they're addicted. And they walk out of that brothel looking uglier than when they went in. 
And the woman that they gave their Holy Spirit to and their life force, she just, like a vampire, she just swallowed your most holy fluids. She just took it into her body. It's like drinking blood. That's why the vampires are drinking little children's blood, because it's pure. Blood and semen. Blood and semen. The life is in the blood, the life is in the semen. Blood and semen. That's why we go to seminaries, seminaries to become high priests. Why the fuck do they call those places where you learn about God seminaries? What the hell has semen got, in, got to do with... with um, the Christian way of ascending and going to heaven. Well, it's in my videos. Raising the chrism. Just going to my channel, punching raising the chrism. Raising the chrism. Not dumping it out down there. Dumping it out down there, you know. Not just throwing it around and giving it, giving it to your sexual partners or your polygamous people. Oh boy, especially women. Women need to take a lot more care about not being polygamous because you are the receivers and every man you've ever kissed and exchanged saliva with, you are now possessing that man's DNA. It doesn't happen with men. What happens with men is they, um, their partners, their women, um, change them in a way uh, through their energy field. But women cannot... It, yes, the, in their saliva, yes, you, you can get their DNA, but it doesn't stay in you. This is scientific, what I'm saying, guys. Doctors have proved that, proven that every woman, especially women who have been impregnated by a man... They've found male DNA goes to their brain. So I'm reaching out. I mean, I'm, this is more for women than men, but it's still for men. Same, it's the same deal. It's just, it's, it's way, way more intense and harmful for women to be polygamous. You see, it's, it's funny, isn't it? You know, the man in town that is known to be a womanizer, you know, he doesn't get to be called a whore or a slut or anything like that, right? But if over the road there's a woman who sleeps with all the men in town, she's a whore, she's a slut. She's, women really get vilified a lot more than men, don't they? It, and it seems unfair. It is unfair. But there's a reason. It's because the, the whore that runs around... You know, fucking every man in town, the coach, the team, the other coach, the opposite coach and his team. They call her a whore and a slut. Even if men do worse, which they do. <laughs> it's not about boys and girls here, but it seems to be unbalanced, you know. There's, there's more whores than there are whore men, and yet... Men are the ones, you know, killing everybody in the wars, mostly. Men do way more harm, and they do harm to women by allowing them to be promiscuous and deceiving them and seducing them. You see, what I was saying before about no one will ever, ever be able to produce a screenshot of me flirting with any woman ever, ever in history or sending pictures of my private parts. And, and, and when the women send them to me, I sternly rebuke them or delete them on the spot. Because here's a little thing that I'll tell you about uh, little old Santos Bonacci, since I was a little boy. Every single girl that has been forward, every one of them, I don't care. Some of them were goddesses and beautiful. They come up and, you know, 
I don't know. Some come up and they, they just give you a kiss, you know. And they let you know that they are, they are so available. Because they're seductress, seductresses. They're seducers. And I have never, ever been seduced by a woman. The women that I've had in my life have conquered me with their goodness. Don't worry about putting makeup on girls and seducing men. Because, you, you know, as soon as I see a woman with lots of makeup, I see a seducer. And I feel sorry for her. Because you don't have to paint your face up. You have to show what's in your heart and your goodness. And you conquer women. And it's the other way around as well. All the women that I've had, I have conquered. I've never seduced a woman. Ever. I'm not a predator. I don't prey on animals. I don't eat them. And I don't prey on women. Every single woman... My last partner, Julieta. You all know that's, that's my last partner, yeah? After Violet. Um, she was following my work for 10 years. And then we met in, Can in, in, in uh, Puerto Morelos near Cancun. And uh, she was my last partner. She was conquered by me for eight years watching my... I didn't, we didn't seduce each other. Violet as well, she came to Australia because she'd been watching my videos. I conquered her. I seduced... Uh, I didn't seduce her. In fact, anyone who knows her, write to her and... Um, She'll have it on her Skype. We used to communicate on Skype and Messenger. She'll have all of our messages and show where I was seducing or flirting her before she came to Australia. She can't. I gave her one compliment once where she sent a photo. She was doing yoga and she looked beautiful. I gave her one compliment and she can show that but she will never, ever say, hey, oh, you know, like I live in Australia in a, in a, in a cottage and, uh, you know, it's private and uh, you're sexy and uh, I've got great tits and you're my sort of girl. Like Cullen has been doing to four, 400,000 women while he's dating a woman that he promises that he loves her and will marry her. Yeah, yeah. Violet will never be able to, to say that I seduced her with any seductory uh, you know, uh, messages before she came to Australia. There you go. There you go. Because I will never seduce a woman. Because if she falls for that shit, she's not worth it. And when a woman thinks it's it's funny how <laughs> it's funny how a lot of women have been paying compliments for you know six months a year or whatever, and then all of a sudden they make a pass, they make a move, you know, like they're going to seduce me because they've just sent me a photo of their beautiful ass, you know, like. Oh, by the way, Santos, this is what I look like today, you know, and, and uh, yeah, well, bye-bye. And none of them can say that I paid them a compliment that they've got a great ass or nice tits, because I, I don't do that. I think people who <laughs> send selfies and, and freaking, you know, ah, there you go, uh, you know, private parts. <laughs> Who fucking does that shit? And you... And you're going to hook up with a person that just showed you a photo of his dick? Or of her pussy? Like, 
Are you fucking crazy? We're fucking predators and fucking sluts and whores and seducers. <laughs> Take courage, said Jesus, for I have conquered the world. You don't have to seduce. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. You don't have to convince people that you're talented or good or whatever or anything. You just have to conquer this world. And stop preying on freaking women and men and fucking animals. Live and let live. For fuck's sakes. Think about it. Next time you're eating steak and you've got a pet dog and you love animals, imagine that that is your dog and wake the fuck up. Why, uh, why is Mel Gibson telling, warning the world that the um, Armenians, and you can see the videos of all these Armenians being killed, it's genocide in Armenia right now. That's all happening in you. You have to resolve something, guys. But it is, and it will continue happening because predators... You're, because you're a predator. You are a predator. You're preying on animals. You see, horses, for instance, they've got horsepower. And they eat grass. They don't, they don't, go, they don't see a pig and go, Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Crunch. Bacon. I'm going to bite that fucking pig bum. You don't see horses murdering animals and preying on them. You see, horses are prey animals, or, or what do they call it? Um, there's predator animals like lions, and then there's, well, there's prey, yeah. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I think there's a better word anyway, but um, they've got power. Grass. You've been swindled, you've been tricked, you've been told that you need to eat all of this agricultural food which is raping the world. When once the world was just a, a world where you pick a berry, a raspberry, one berry would be enough energy for the rest of the day because the earth was mineralized. And they've tricked you. You've got to go to Safeway. You get, get your food there. It's in cans. It's in packets. It's got additives in it. Eat a lot of food. Get pizzas. Pizzas are great. Ch Kentucky Fried Chicken's fucking awesome. McDonald's, Burger King. Everywhere you go, you see people selling food and eating food and, and doing poo and wiping their asses. Eating and pooing and wiping their asses. Uh, I don't know about you, but... I fucking hate having to wipe my ass. That shit is so fucking mundane and boring and fucking time wasting. Why is everyone fucking fat? And ugly. And you know, people say, oh, you, you call people ugly. Uh, you know, that's not nice, that's offensive. No, I'm not talking about their physical ugliness because I know people that are physically very, very unattractive but I love so much because they're so beautiful. The ugliness I'm talking about is not just physical, it's... <laughs> it's everything. They're ugly. People are fucking ugly. And stupid. The mind is more attractive than the, the body. Michelle Smethurst, superstar truther there in the UK. You're right, sister. And, and you are a beautiful woman. You're a very beautiful woman. And you, like any other women that I pay uh, compliments to, that they are beautiful and good and kind... Uh, um, all of you, a anyone that knows me, they know that I've never, ever, ever, ever flirted with them or, you know, made some sexy comment.
<clears throat> or if I did, just uh, screenshot it and publish it to the world. People would be interesting to know if I'm similar to Cullen and been a pretender all along. Yeah. Ah, oh, Santos is a fake. Yeah. You'll find out one day when he gets exposed. Mm. Violet has been saying since, even before she, that, well, before she left me, uh, while she was with me, she was, I've got friends who can produce the evidence saying that I'm going to expose the real Santos Bonacci to the world. We're still waiting, Violet. Expose me. You actually live with me for nine months and saw who I really am. You know who I really am. Yes, I was angry and abusive in that relationship, even with Julieta. And I've begged them to forgive me and I've forgiven them and, and, and all of that. That's all done. But you can't expose anything that I teach that I'm not practicing. Yeah, I was already preaching before I met Violet for seven years that I don't ejaculate. And, um, yeah, she's, we were together for nine months and guess what? We don't use contraceptives for a start. <laughs> And she never worried that she was going to get pregnant. And uh, she knows that I practice what I preach. In fact, she told her mother eh, in a conversation one day, she said, Mum, you know how many times Santos ejaculated, the hypocrite? And her mum says, yeah, how many? She goes, zero Zero, Mum. So Danielle, Danielle, uh, her mother, she heard it. She'll be a witness one day. Julieta will be a witness. I was with Julieta for a year. Yeah, she knows. Even Hiromi, my Japanese partner, uh, wife, in 2012 when I started um, White Tantra, she, the, I've got three women... That are, that are the three only women I've had since uh, hit on me when I was in Australia. That probably finished 2014, around there or something. And then Violet and then Julieta. All those three can attest to the fact that what I've been preaching about non-ejaculation, I practice. Yeah. I've got three witnesses. But Cullen's been preaching that he's, you know, that he's a, he's a truther, you know, and he, he talks about syncretism all the time. But he watches bestiality. Yeah. He wanted to have a threesome with Ananda Ali, his Australian partner, and her daughter. And she said, uh, yeah, I don't do incest, Cullen. And Cullen did tell many, many women that he loves bestiality. And threesomes. Yeah. But uh, no one's got any messages or screenshots about me. Yeah. So you all thought I was mad, you know. Oh. Santos, you're mad every time you're cussing Cullen, you know. You're hurting yourself. Yeah. It's great to know that as God is listening, you are sincere and truthful and good-hearted and loving and forgiving. Because everyone who know, knows me, who really knows me, knows that that is who I really am. Yeah, I've done a bit of acting in my uh, presentations, you know, and I do a lot of humour. Some people like my humour. Thank you, Monty Python and Steve Hughes. But especially Monty Python. Some people like my anger. 
you, you've got no idea how many people in the last two weeks have written to me from all over the world saying, keep doing it, Santos. Your anger is beautiful. And then there's people, you know, deleting me or making comments about how Santos is mad. Well, there's a method to madness and you don't know it. Yeah. Even the people who think they know me. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I fooled you too because... Yeah. Even some of you, you know, like followers for 12 years sometimes, you know, ask me, do you, do you really, I mean, are you really a vegan? You're not just preaching it. And I'm like... You're kidding, right? You, you've been following me for eight years and you, you, you ask me whether I, you know, eat fish on the side or something or, you know, because you, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't survive just being a vegan, you know, like, <laughs> really? Just, like, unfriend yourself and don't follow my channel, really, <laughs> you know, because it's been disappointing that even some friends that I've made in these last 12 years, it's been a journey. It turns out they, they're just backstabbing useless eaters. But I get the last laugh, the biggest platform, the most attention. Apparently, uh, Santos Bonacci stuff's going viral all around fucking Instagram, TikTok, and... I don't even know what they are. I don't go there. I don't, I, don't, I, don't do, I don't go into Instagram or TikTok or any of that bullshit. I've just got two platforms, YouTube and, and Facebook. You know, but everyone else is uh, doing my sine wave and my Taurus field. Yeah. You, don't see, you don't see disciples of Cullen Smith you know, doing his model because he hasn't got a model. There's no one, there's not one follower, no, no one in the world. But you look around and you see everybody's doing Santos Bonacci's Sam Best Method. Everyone's doing Sam Beth Best Method because it's the only method. It's the only model, the atomic model. So, I mean, I, I've known this since 2010. Uh, uh, 11 when I started my channel people were uploading my videos monetizing their videos and making millions of dollars and people are saying oh stop them Santos no it's all right they're getting the word out no, I don't need that, that money they they're doing a the good work spreading my videos and earning 200 300 dollars of uh, ad money from YouTube let them let them they need to support as well. Don't worry. They're not stealing my stuff. They're sharing it. You can't steal my stuff. It's not my stuff anyway. It's, it's yours. It's, it belongs to you. People write to me and say, oh, do you mind if I mention your name? Do you mind if I put this clip of yours? Don't fucking ask me. It's, it's, if it's out there, it's yours. You can do whatever you want with my videos. Just don't wipe your bum with them if you're a flesh eater. Because that would be the most offensive thing you could ever do to me. Yeah. Mm. God. Ugh. I hate the fact when you go to a public... You have to go to... I never go to public toilets, but when you have to, you know that... Rotting corpse eaters have just done a fucking shitload of poo in that fucking... You've got to, mate, I've never sat on a public toilet. I stand, squat on top, <laughs> with shoes on. You think I'm going to touch a public toilet where, fuck, where corpse eaters do poo? <laughs> and you guys, you probably don't even wipe the set and you sit on them. You know how many freaking venereal diseases you've got now? Because you use public toilets? Oh, God. Oh. Wow. 
and promiscuity, especially for women, whoa, whoa. You'll never get rid of that, all your partner's DNA. It's, it's in your brain. It's scientific journals have been documenting this since the 70s. I've known this since the 70s. I remember they were warning, be careful who you have as a partner and whom you, you, you share your energy field and your fluids, bodily fluids and DNA because the moment you kiss that person, it better be the, better be the right person because what you're doing is you're, you're now intaking information which is downloading into your bodies like a virus. And if that person has got bad ancestry or hiding something and they're evil, pretending to be good, and you're, uh, you're licking them and, and uh, you know, drinking all of their fluids, you're getting their parasites, their ancestral karma, all in one kiss. I remember Leo DiCaprio once said this about 20 years ago. He, he said, uh, kissing someone is absolutely the most dangerous thing you can do because there's so much bacteria. In fact, there's more bacteria spinning at 2,000, spinning at 2,800 revs, revolutions a second than there are people on the surface of the earth. There's more bacteria in your mouth and it's... And the bacteria in your mouth is spinning at 2,800 revolutions a second. That's how much energy that bacteria's got. And you go and kiss someone. I see people kissing their dogs, you know. <laughs> the dogs lick them like, mm. and they're like, oh, I love you, love you. That dog just fucking licked its balls. Or if it was a bitch, it just licked its fucking period. And it's just been licking its pussy, and then it just gave you a kiss. Don't have animals in your house, people. Animals are not for inside the house. My parents taught me that. When you get romantic with someone, people really, really make sure they're clean. Make sure they're clean. And there's plenty of signs that, that they're not. You can tell. That's why you need to go slow. And I've only had one one night stand in my life. Because I'm not a predator. It just happened in Japan, okay? In 2005 on a music tour. Apart from that, I get to know the person that I'm going to kiss for a long time. You know, because I don't like dirty, evil people that uh, are slimy. I don't want to even be in their energy field. So first get comfortable with your romantic uh, future partner in their, in their energy field. Talk. Ask them questions. Get to know them. And then you'll know whether you want to kiss them or not. Because you will get all of their parasites, all of it. Parasites, hormones, genes, anything ancestral. All of the diseases of their ex-partners. Especially if it's a woman. All that information is in the saliva. All of it. Everything, everything from my ancestors is in my mouth right now. And all the partners that I've ever kissed. Everyone you come near will give you their energy. That's why you go to a guru. Because paradosis is what happens. Paradosis. You go to a guru to touch a guru because he is way, way, way more conscious than you. And what happens is paradosis happens. A measure, not a measure, 
the consciousness from, of the guru is transferred into you. That's why they say, be careful who you hang out with. They might be good looking, but they may be dumber than you and less conscious, less awakened, less knowledgeable, and they're going to bring you down. You might have fun with that person and, you know, might work, but you, your consciousness will go down to their level. That's why you don't want to be going to bars where dirty people are. There's demons in bars. All, all, all pubs and bars, avoid them at all costs. They're full of dirty, filthy, filthy demons because ejaculators go there. And bum eaters and meth heads and really, really sick demonic people have many, many, many demons. You know, these women who are promiscuous, they're not just psychotic and neurotic. And a handful got a lot of demonic luggage. They're demon possessed. That's why all of a sudden uh, lots of you know, twin flames are breaking up. Families are being pulled apart. This brother hates, this guy hates his brother. That g girl hates her mother. But it's funny, you know. I do remember Violet saying that she would never, ever, 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 ever leave me. Ever. Because I saved her. She used to call me her saviour. Because I did. Even her mother said, you transformed her life. When, when she started, I convinced her to finally watch your videos and she started watching your videos, Santos, she changed. She stopped hanging around with these bums. She had a bum of a, a boyfriend for three years. He was giving her drugs. Like ketamine and fucking, I don't know, Xanax. I don't know, some, I forget. But she was taking them. And then she got onto my videos, watched them for about a year and a half. We communicated, never flirted, <laughs> never seduced. Mm. Till the day she came to Brisbane Airport from San Francisco. Yeah. And that's the truth. Because she'll never be able to expose that I'm lying. Because I'm not. Anyway, the point is, she got seduced by a bum, a criminal, a murderer, murdered his own son. I don't know how many children he's got with women spread out all over El Dorado County and fucking around Sacramento, around there. Uh, Globetard, alcoholic. She told me herself he drinks six bottles of beer every every day and he takes drugs because he's got back pain because one of his ex-partners hit him trying to run over hit uh, run him over and kill him and now his back's not good and he's addicted to painkillers which you can fix with herbs and uh, i saw what is going on to many, 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 many partners that were, were once very much in love, as Violet and I were. And I believe she was sincere when she came to Australia, but I, I do believe she was, she was MK altered. And probably what they call a honeypot. You know, what, what's that? The women that are sent to truthers to seduce them, which they can't, uh, and, you know, pull them off the, off the track. I don't believe that that was her intention. I, I do believe that she was sincerely, sincerely in love with me and that, as she said, I, I could never, ever contemplate any other man other than, other than you because you're, you're my twin. You're, you're, you know, you're everything I've ever wanted and more. And, and she, prom she, would say, she said it to my mother. And, and, I, and I believed her, and she was, she, I, I still think she was sincere. But I saw Satan take her away from me and syncretism. No more activism about 
veganism on her Facebook page. No more exposing, you know, all that we don't need in the world. All she's doing now is just posting about beer and coming to this burger bar and coming to this pub to listen to us play. And there's beer and burgers and beer and burgers and beer and burgers. And they call themselves vices to virtue. Yeah, they're both dyslexic, obviously. They may have some musical talent, but they're dyslexic because that's uh, yeah, from virtues to vice. You've got hamburgers on your fucking Facebook page. And bars and beer and spirits and demons. <laughs> it's almost pornographic. I saw that happen to a sincere girl. Unfortunately, she kissed the bum and she got downloaded. I told her this. I said, you, you're gone, Violet. Did you kiss him? Of course, the answer was yes. <laughs> um, you know why good parents, when, when, a, when their 16-year-old daughter comes home with a, with, and they want to introduce their boyfriend, right? And, so, and, they, and they sort of timidly come in. And he, he, he walks in, you know, and, and uh, the mother sees something in him because the mother's experienced, and the father. And so they have their little, you know, meeting, and then the boy goes away, and the mother and father say, get rid of this guy. He's no good. But then the, the girl disobeys and because she's tempted, and she, so, and she kisses him. That's the poisonous apple of Eve. It's not about sex, it's about... giving a part of your, your body and DNA to someone else. They go away. When you break up, they go away and they give it to someone else. And you wonder why you're psychotic and neurotic? Because there's so many demons and other people's DNA in you. There's nothing that can't be reversed and repaired forgiven and repented. Nothing. Nothing. If you've done all... If you've mur murdered someone out of rage, if you've committed abortion or whatever, you will be saved you, you, through repentance. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not condemning anyone. You know. I'm just sharing these things because... I see how people are getting seduced and, and even syncretists. What happens is they, they find syncretism, they reach a higher level of consciousness and then once they're out away, see once Violet got away from me, she was, I was planning to go to America and in the interim we weren't together. So what happened was she was hanging out with bums and, and going to the wrong parties. and. What happens is that level that you reached, now you go back to where you were more comfortable before. You see? Some people go back to their former state. You know, like a drunk. He quits for 10 years. Then one day, you know, he just, he just has a sip of beer because it's hot. And, and then, guess what? He's a drunk again and he dies within six months because it's, it's more deadly when you go back to it, and harder to, 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 to uh, um, quit. So this is what happens to these syncretists, and I'm seeing it all, all the time. I'm seeing a lot of this. Not just Violet, I've seen beautiful women that have reached the heights. And then you see a guy, a bum comes into their life, and vice versa. Men, great men, and then, you know, a whore comes into their life and you, you can s just see it in their eyes. You can see it in their eyes. Their soul, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Al Pacino, my favourite actor. 
and James Dean, <laughs> of course. <laughs> the greatest actor who ever, ever lived. James Dean, yeah. So, uh, yeah, watching this has been very, very sad. See, the one that endures to the end is the one that will be saved. You don't get to syncretism and find someone that you promise that you will eternally love and serve and devote yourself to the gods and astrology and then just find a bum and devour their DNA and be forever damned. But there's always repentance. Anyway, guys, it, the title of this is, is, is unfortunately, it's going to be uh, Cullen exposed for the billionth time. And uh, as, a, as a warning and a reminder, uh, people, stay on the narrow road, for it is difficult and cramped, said Jesus, but it leads to everlasting life. You have to endure. Don't, I'm not going to fall back to... Santos Bonacci is never going to be seduced and fall back to a former state of being. I'm changing every day and so are you. I can see my face different every day in the mirror. If, you, if you're not noticing that, then you're not looking or you need new glasses. We're always changing, but we're always forever now in the now. But it, the now must change. It's not called aging. You don't have to get old and die. You do not have to. If you... If you want to be seduced by that lie, like Satan in the Garden of Eden, well, then you'll die. And broad and spacious is the road that leads to everlasting damnation, and many are walking on that road, said Jesus. Not me. He said, the road, um, bear your cross, devote yourself to the gods, and stay on that path. And the light will get brighter and brighter and brighter, as it says in the psalm. The Lord is making my path brighter and brighter and brighter. So, hey... Why don't you pedophiles and people traffickers and supporters of them, like the police and the judges and everybody else, why don't you just uh, repent? Because you, you know that humans are forgiving. We're different to them, people. We're different to Hollywood. We're different to the education system, the allopathic system. You know there's something wrong with it. It's controlled by demons. So let's, I guess, pray and manifest that Cullen repents and asks the world to forgive him. And especially Ananda Ali. And she suspects that his f uh, former partner, who died of breast cancer, was also traumatised by Cullen. And in, in fact, he murdered her. And that was around 2017, 18, uh, well after he went public saying that I'm a liar and everything and stabbed my back. And, and I've told you, I've told everyone, everyone, I've seen this many times. I know why Cullen's girlfriend died. Because he was cursing me on Facebook. You, you all know, all you people that have been following me, for, uh, following me, my channel for uh, 12 and a half years, you know the story of Cullen Smith. He had my password to Facebook in the, in the early days. I gave it to him. I said, here, Cullen, you can post all your stuff on my fa Facebook page. And he fucking did. Every second post was him. And I was getting pissed off. That's how I, I help people. And then he went and backstabbed me. And I've always said, people who come to do harm to me are doing a billion times more harm to themselves. 
And I've seen a lot of people who have cursed me, their partners have died. Or they've died. And Stephen Durkee did. David Simington did. And tens and tens more people. I've seen it. I'm not, do, I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not intentfully doing any of this. I mean, I, I didn't in, intend for Stephen Durkee to be dead. I didn't even know he was going to knock on the door on that Sunday morning. There were, there were no plans in my head. He just got killed because he underestimated my power. He came to me with his strength, you see. Bruce Lee, he knocked everybody out with power because he could see in the eyes of all the dickheads that were trying to fight him that, that they're all you know, tense and, and, and uh, misusing their force. So he knew he was going to be able to you know, kick the bums of 80 of the second best fighters in the world. Yeah, it's called power. Horsepower, who eat grass, they're not predators. They are prey animals. Yeah. I'm going to close off now, because I could go on and on and on. You're probably already so bored. I want to get my smoothie going. Um, You know who I'm talking to, all you people in the people trafficking and animal trafficking industry. Today would be a good day to repent and ask for forgiveness. Politicians, anyone, everyone, the Pope, anyone. Why are we still blood shedding all over the earth? Why? And why are animals fearful and of, of humans when they're, when they're in, herded up in the abattoirs and they can hear and smell the blood of the lambs or the pigs or the cows before them? Have, I've, I've been to an abattoir. Have you seen the fear in the eyes of those cows? Have you looked into the eyes of the cow of the rump that you're eating tonight with, with your red wine? Did, did you look into that, the eyes of that cow? Did you get to know that cow? Because that cow had a personality, it had intelligence, it had God in it, and you snuffed it out. But you don't want to think about looking into their eyes. Look into the eyes of your dog, your pet dog, today. Do it. And have a sharp knife in your hand. And just, just don't kill it, but just, just do it as a gesture. Just see what, look, look at your dog and say, hey, come here, uh, Monty. Come here. Good boy, good boy. I've got this sharp knife. Yes. Pat your dog and then just, just put the knife right here. Just like this. Just do that to your dog. Or do this. Because that's what every, every animal sees before they die and you're eating that. You see, this banana is still alive and it will remain alive in my body and fertilise the ground. Corpse doesn't do that. Yeah? That's just trauma. You, you're shitting all your shit that's going into the soil. It's not fertiliser. It's fucking poison. That's why everyone's stupid. Because all these sewage farms are full of corpse. Pigs, bacon. It's all... You shat it all out and now we've got these big fucking treatment systems for all the... Murdered, slaughtered, blood guilty, bloodthirsty people that are running you know, everywhere you go. Every shop's got ham sandwiches. And, and we're still addicted to blood. 
Yeah, flesh eaters who are uh, uh, murdering animals by the millions, bloodthirsty and blood guilty, are supporting people trafficking. Because if you can traffic animals, sure, you can tra traffic other animals which we call humans. We're all classified as animals living on the earth. A human is, a, is, a, is, a, is an animal. Mene mene tekel parson. It's time to repent, guys. Or forever be damned.